Hi everybody, how are you doing? Well, uh, it's been a while since I've had to do a, a voiceover, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, the reason why I'm having to do that is I went to visit what I thought was St Matthew's Church in Chatterton today. Um, this was a church I was familiar with from being at the school. I was just pointing at the school down the road there. Um, well, St Luke's, uh, as you can see, I got there, was really shocked that it was abandoned. Um, there is a St Matthew's and St Luke's in Chatterton now, but that's over on Burnley Lane. Um, and actually, this this church that I got to, I was expecting it to be St Matthew's. I had it in my head that this was St Matthew's. Um, it's not, it's St Luke's, which makes absolute sense because I went to St Luke's school. Um, anyway, I would just, I, I've had to do a voiceover because everything that I was talking about in this, <coughs> excuse me, um, was relevant to the video that I was doing today, which was Lillian, um, Lillian Robinson. The only problem is uh, when I did the video on Lillian and I tried to, um, I'm just talking about looking at that graffiti there, and I tried to edit it, I, I thought the, it didn't flow. So I'm going to go back in a couple of weeks and do that. But So I wanted to talk about what we're looking at here and the church and the different bits and pieces. Um, the church has actually been closed for about 20 years, a local told me. Um, it was actually built by Stotton Sons. Now, the weird thing about it is Stotton Sons built mills, um, but they're down as the architects. And I was saying I actually use the D-head word here because I just thought this was so disrespectful to come and plaster your name. I mean, there's some graffiti around here. I filmed some of it. I didn't talk about it. I just thought I'd let you see it. Um, but I focused in on this gargoyle. There's a few of these around the church. Um uh, the thing was, I, I didn't take my Zoomer camera, which I normally do, um, my Canon camera. I usually take that when I'm doing churches and stuff. Um, but as I said, I didn't sort of plan on doing it in any great detail today. Um, what I am good, I was talking about this. I said, it looks like it's been bricked up. Like maybe at one point it was some stairs down into the bowels of the church. Um, or maybe there's a crypt down there. And you couldn't really see it on the video, but that window is beautiful. And I'm talking about how it's a shame that this church is <coughs> closed because I've got to cough, everyone. But how it's a shame how it's closed. And all these beautiful windows that the parishioners would have paid for all of those years. There's another one of those gargoyles. Um, I get a bit close. It looks like a pig, doesn't it? A pig with a, with a lion's head. Um... But yeah, these beautiful windows, this church has got some stunning windows, believe me. Wait till we get round the other side. Another feature there, I couldn't work out what that, that was. Another beautiful entrance. I Did I mention this church was built in 1882? I think I did. If you look at it, it's uh, they said it was Gothic Revival style, which it definitely was. And on the side of the church, you'll see these wonderful arches that are on you know, this side and this side. Look at it, it's almost, almost cathedral-like. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. I was, uh, yeah, pointing out here, it looks like one of the panels have come off and people have decided to throw stones and smash windows, which I was fuming at because that glass, you really can't appreciate it with this camera, unfortunately, but it was all blues and purples and just absolutely stunning. But I was really sad to see, like, the, group, the trees growing out the side of it and just how these buildings can just get left to, like, rot. Um... I think what the other thing that oh oh I fired up into the sky there. <laughs> oh, I was trying to look at a plane. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to look at a plane, but it had gone. Um, it's a rare sight in the sky now. Planes, aren't they? I don't see them very often, especially where I live. But I'm just trying to show you the side, and as we round this turret here, uh, we can see another window that's been smashed. And actually, I don't know if you can see on the telly if you're watching it on the telly. I need to move my camera down. I thought my camera was for, here we go. Uh, you can actually see the light coming through the beautiful, uh, massive uh, stained glass window that would stand over the altar. We'll go around and have a look at it in a minute. But the weather in Oldham today was really, really nice, everyone. <clears throat> in fact, if you keep posting, I've got some footage <clears throat> of the old police station in Oldham in the town hall. Uh, went to Malia. You can see the light now. Look at it coming through, all them beautiful colours. Again, someone's been throwing stones at the glass. Um, 
I'm not having it that it's damage of normal, you know, like wind or something, because those that glass has been in there for hundreds of years. Look at this graffiti. I thought, I thought we'd uh, let people see what these people have to say. Uh, <laughs> just, I don't know why you would. Um, I mean, it's just kids in it, but I just think it's so disrespectful. And I don't have children, but if I had children and they did things like that and I found out about it, let me tell you, there'd be a lot of trouble in that house. A lot of trouble in that evening and someone would be paying a big price for it. We're not going out for a very long time and certainly no pocket money and no games. I don't know how you punish kids nowadays. Um, you don't crack them anymore, do you? Um, but there you go. So anyway, again, more trees just growing out. Um, the sky's looking pretty shocking on that, but let me tell you, it was a beautiful day. Um, I was really sorry that my actual video didn't work out, to be perfectly honest with you, because I really wanted that to work. Um, I'm actually talking now and um, not realising that the camera's down, but I promise you I do put it up uh, in a moment. So here's the picture window. Uh, on the left, on the right, as you're looking at it on your right, as you're looking on the right, is the birth of Christ. In the middle is the crucifixion. You can just about make it out. And then on the um, left, as you're looking at it, is the resurrection. Um, so it's actually a beautiful window which tells a story. I don't know. I, I'd love to go in and see who paid for these windows, who these people were, what the connections were to Oldham. But, you know, the chances of that happening, obviously, are slim to none. Unless someone knows who the, who the person who looks after this building is and you can get me a view, I would really appreciate that. There I go, zooming down again. There we go. So I'm actually making my way back to the car now. It was a short video. Um, as I said, it was it was meant to form part of another video. That video uh, can't go ahead. And to be fair, this isn't the right church anyway. But I, I certainly thought it was beautiful enough footage just to show it you as a, as a, as a video. That door there is the way in. Um... So that's where I'm going to be going. Right, keep posted, everybody. We're going to go back to sound now. We're going to be looking at Oldham. Let's have a look at these wonderful toilets and the police uh, cell. Hi, everybody. I'm in Oldham Town Centre. Um, we're about to go into Nando's. Not for anything to eat. We're going to be going to Molino's. I'll lose there. Hi, <laughs> <bye>. <laughs> anyway, my cousin said to me before, go in Nando's and have a look at the bogs. So we're going to go in Nando's and we're going to go and have a look at the bogs. I'll see you there. Right, so we're just going down. This is the original walls of the town hall. Oh, shit. Um, this would be, I think this is the side of the police station. Maybe this is where the cells were. I don't know. It's a bloody twisty road. I'm sure the cells used to be here. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. <laughs> so we've got the same floor, everybody. We've got in Molino's, which is that beautiful pattern. And the toilets are through here. Oh, wow. It's the old cells. Look at that, everyone. This is the old cells. It's like original cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, or a doorway of some description, but... Oh, See all that green paint? So, uh, in, uh, in Molino's, there's a fantastic thing I'd like to show you. Just have a look in the bog. Oh, wow, look at this, everyone. Just beautiful tiles. <gasps> look, someone's drawn on the wall. What is wrong with people? Seriously. Wow, look at this. I never thought I'd be filming the inside of a toilet enthusiast for you all. But look at that, that's exciting. That's the street light. That looks like a cell roof, that. Yeah, it does. This looks like the cells, doesn't it? All yeah. tiled out. So that street light there with those glass blocks. Interesting. Right, so we're outside Parliament Square. And uh, Lou and I are going for a meal in Molino. She's going to be reviewing it, so... Get over to Lou's life and uh, subscribe and check that channel, check that video out, sorry. I wonder what the toilets are like in here. Oh, they're nice. <laughs> they're not like them though. <laughs> no, they're not. No. <laughs> right, I'm not going to film going in because I think I'm strange, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll go sit in the back, Lou, and that's where the police thing is. I've got to be really careful, but I want to show you this sign. This is the original police station. 
which was an old um, bingo house. Um, there's actually quite a lot of people eating the meal, so I won't be uh, filming just yet. But if I get the opportunity, I'll show you these other features, like these beautiful walls.